Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th, Monday through Thursday, for my Aries. Hello, my Aries. How are you? Now, you know that when I'm doing my week reading, again, I'm using my three cut, my three decks. I'm using my Radley Valentine decks for the main messages. This one will be my Archangel um, Power Tarot cards for the main. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. And then Emily Anderson, I will pull a crystal card because I thought that was just kind of fun. Now, you know that I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Some financial security coming. Some financial security. Anyway, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. Whatever the message, my job, just deliver. I don't have to understand. Okay, um, all of the cards are reversed. That usually means a really strong energy. This is, you know, Thursday for the United States is our Thanksgiving. And there's a, you know, this is a good time, whether or not you celebrate this or not, it's always a good time to think about your blessings and what you are grateful for. Now, you know, I just want to say that I'm grateful for all of you. So thank you. Anyway. Oh, okay. Remember to, we talked about Mercury in Scorpio was direct. The shadow, uh, the shadow of Mercury retrograde has lifted, so expect, and you know, this has been really strong with me, and I've been talking about this, expect communication to be extremely laser sharp, laser focused. Scorpio does not like secrets, so again, you know, within, within you might be hearing things you might wish you never heard before. Also, too, on Saturday, Venus went into Scorpio. Now, that's really nice for relationships. You can have that really strong passion. But remember, relationships aren't just that, um, you know, personal or intimate. It could be your work, your job. It could be your family, your home. It could be even bigger than yourself. So lots of very passionate communication. Expect, to, expect that. Okay, let's see again. Um, but all of these are reversed. This one's face up. This one, I really got a lot of financial security for you. I felt like things were um, leveling out. You know, I don't know if that means that you found that job. I don't know if that means that you got the check in, but I just felt that there was financial security. You weren't as worried, at least for this week, about the money. Okay, and I hope, I hope that's for all of you. Hope that that's for all of you. So, Aerial energy is our Earth energy. It is our Capricorn, our Taurus. It's also our Virgo energy. Solid, something, someone you can touch. A lot of times this has to do with money, money that comes from that job or possibly from an outside source. I don't know, my Aries, you are workers. So maybe you've been doing some odd jobs. Maybe you've been doing some extra work. And so now because of that, that money's coming in or or because of the work that you've been producing, people are asking you to do more. Fours have a very stable energy. It's like the four legs of a um, table, okay? So I feel, I feel like either your work, your work um, scenario, your, your work, um, your money um, scenario, one of those, you know, something is stabilizing in your finances. Anyway, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. Your next card is the Two of Gabriel. Gabriel is your energy. It's also Leo, but it's also Sagittarius. We're in Sagittarius season. And that thing with Mars in, you know, in Aries, it's going direct. That's really pushing you. It's pushing you to be to, to really step into your into your career it's to step into your profession it's to step into the place that will make you that money because i do feel that this is all about your money this week and it's like the energy is pushing you into how to make that money how to make that money now but yet how to secure that money for that future too and the thing is my aries i feel that this is a week where you're thinking about I don't want to just do anything. I want to do something that I actually feel good about and that I enjoy. Okay, 
Choose has some decision making. Anyway, make bold and ambitious choices. Good progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So you could be setting up some sort of a business or a partnership with somebody. Your last card here is the Ten of Gabriel. Your energy again. Tens have that transitional. But this is, you're going to be busy this week. You're going to be busy. Um, I feel, you know, and again, this is really doing something that you feel passionate about. Um, so, you know, may, you know, like your reputation is getting out there. People are calling you up for whatever. You make sure you keep a calendar. Make sure you keep, you know, put it on your phone because you don't want to miss the appointments. Okay? It's that, that's that, it's, that's how busy I feel, that's how busy I'm getting. That's how busy I'm, you know, you need to make sure that it's, that, you know, in some ways my areas, you're like, okay, I know that on Thursday I need to do this or Monday I need to do this. You need to write it in your calendar, type it in your calendar, however that is. Put it in your phone, however that is. Put reminders on it too because that's how, this is a busy week for you and that's how busy you're going to be. Anyway, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. And that's the thing. I feel like now sometimes, sometimes that could be, you know, if you're going on a date, maybe you have a, a date with two different people and it's at the same time. But, you know, put it in your calendar. Put it in your calendar, Aries. Okay? Because you're, okay, that one just kind of flew. This one is reversed. Here we go. The king of fire, again, lots and lots and lots of fire energy for you. Now, the king, remember, king, now the court cards have an underlying energy. The king has air energy, you, you know, the smarts, the fire energy, passionate, burning, determined. So with the smarts and the passion that, you know, this is, you know, and the king also sees, the, the king of fire also sees the big picture. You know, doesn't necessarily, you know, worry about so much the, the, the minutia, okay? Except you do need to put it in your calendar anyway. But, you know, sees the big picture. And I feel like this could be one of those weeks that you really set, you know, you set your seed, you set your, um, you set your plan. And I, I feel like this is a good place to grow from. Again, it's, it's this money. It's about money. Anyway, motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. So really, I mean, I, except that, like I said, I, so I think that I feel like this is one of those weeks that things come together for you. Okay. And that, um, you know, like I said, you're. I feel very busy, very busy, very busy. Now, this one, as I was, you know, shuffling, popped out. And I don't have an Aragon, Aragon, Aragon star cluster, but that is about earth healing, grounding, stress relief, vitality. And I do feel like if you have this, I'm not asking you to buy it, you know that. But if you have this, carry this with you, because like I said, you could be a little tired towards the end of the week. Okay? Okay. Busy week for you. Keep your calendar. Now, my Aries. Again, in the United States, Thursday is Thanksgiving. I wish you a blessed Thanksgiving if you celebrate, and if not, I wish you a blessed week anyway. As always, my Aries, remember the button. Remember, like, share, subscribe. It does help to promote the channel, so I thank you. And as always, my Aries, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.